Greetings to you in the name of the Most High. Greet you one and all around the world at such a, um, if you want to use the word, time, at such a construct, at such a pivotal point in our existence, in our experience, in this sensory construct that we call life here on earth. Okay, so much happening, much going on, many, many things taking place all over um, the world. Things are in flux, things are in confusion, things are being exposed, things are being revealed. Now, um, in the middle of all of this, we continue to move forward in who we are, who we've always been destined to be, the reason and the purpose for which we came here in the first place. Listen, we we all came into this thing for a reason and a purpose. Now, some of it is, you know, we know little bits and pieces, but there was reason and purpose for us coming into this. You know, are we the error correctors? You know, are we the ones that come in and help and show and reveal the way out? Okay, well, the way out is the way within. You know, you've got it inside of you. That which is eternal within you is there. And you can walk and move in that. And you have your direction, your peace, your understanding from there. It's not going to come from something external. And you've got to understand that, that so many of the games that the, the world was play is to get you dependent on something external and to get you to look to, to something external to keep you from going within. <clears throat> and what does that do? Well, something external, well, by and large, everything external in the world system is designed as a containment field and designed to keep you in a loop, in a trap, perpetually going round and round and round in these circles. And, you know, you may be going around and around in circles at different levels. You know, some people do it at a very um, wealthy level. Some people do it at a very poor level, but they're still stuck in a loop. So if you're still stuck in a loop, what's you're still you're screwed. If you're still if you're still stuck, you know, one percent a slave, hundred percent a slave, you're still a slave. You know the degree of slavery that you're in. You know either you're hundred percent free or you're not free. So the the challenge is that most people, well, there is that statement that. A lot of people love their slavery. I mean, why? Well, because one thing, when people are enslaved, um, you know, it's predictable. Uh, they, 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 you know, they can also now blame somebody else because now it's, it's the power is with the enforcer or that which is. So they can blame somebody else for their life, their circumstances, their decisions. You don't have to take responsibility when somebody external is in charge, you don't have to take responsibility because now it's somebody else. So a lot of people don't want, they don't want what comes along with freedom. You know, with freedom comes responsibility. You have to take, you have to take ownership for your decisions, for your choices, for the outcomes. How many people are willing to say that they screwed up their own life. That whatever it is that's taken place, that they're a consequence of their own decisions and their own choices. You know, it's very easy to always blame somebody outside. But what happens when you made that decision? You made that choice? Maybe you didn't have the right information. Maybe you believed the wrong people. But it's on you. You know, a free person will do that. A free person will accept that. They're like, okay, I get it. I, I made a bad choice. I screwed up. That's, that's good. That's growing up. 
then you can adjust. Listen, you, you can't... You, you, if you are not free, how will you ever get out of the loop? How will you ever get out of the, the, um, the cycle? You know, the people that remain in the cycle are the people that are the slaves and are enslaved to it and thrown into it and wrapped around over and over and over and over and over again perpetually. Same thing, over and over and over again. Okay, when Jesus was offered all the kingdoms of the world and their splendor, if you just would bow down, worship the devil, if you would have just played ball. Now, why, why was that offer made? Well, if, if he would have done that, he would have gone from a place of, um, you know, freedom to a place of slavery. Very high level slavery, but still slavery. He would have gone from, you know, that which was, you know, come to this place and is on the way back out. You know, he laid down his life only to take it back up again. He would have gone from that place to um, being spin cycled right back in and through it. So when the devil made that offer, he knew exactly what he was offering. Now, a lot of people that don't understand the game, they're like, how many, pe how many people are willing to bow down to the prince of the power of the air, to bow down to the world and the world system, to bow down to this whole thing for far less? Thinking they get a great deal, but not realizing that you, you're stuck. You're stuck in the prison. You're stuck in the loop. Your creative power within you is now being siphoned off of you to build a better mousetrap. To build a better trap for everybody else. And everything that's in you, all of your dreams, your hopes, your desires, that which makes you you, your unique talents, skills, gifts, abilities, are all being used for the purpose, the one purpose of building and reinforcing this prison matrix that spin cycles people through in a Mobius loop over and over and over again, all the souls going around and around again, just as a power source being siphoned off of the whole time. Okay, the way out's the way within, right? Yep, yeah. heard that. Okay, what else? Well, once you know that, take a step. A step of faith, a step of trust, a step of where you, you, as you do that, you, you, you break the cycles. You know, I, I've noticed in my own life, my own experience, as I've been quickened within, by... Um, by the source of all, by Creator, as I've gone through and I've gone through that process and I've taken a step, all of a sudden everything changes. Everything, every dynamic shifts. And why? Because you're taking a step, you're using the free will portion of who you are. And all of a sudden, you are shifting. So you go from the loop that the world was trying to keep you in, all of a sudden, you just moved. And now, they're going to try to put you into another loop. But here's the thing. you got to loop up and loop out. Okay? Loop out, ultimately. You want out. So, taking the walk of faith is just one step of faith after another, one step of trust after another, action after action after action, where you are true to the convictions within yourself, and from those convictions within, 
you now have the experiences without. Take those steps. Do those things that need to be done. As you do, you're going to see everything else continue to change and shift around you. But if you don't, it's not going to come to you any other way. This is part of your human experience. Part of your own growth. Now, I've noticed in my own life, as I've done, there's always been just incredible things that unfold as a result of just taking those steps. I've gone on journeys, I've gone on trips, I've gone into difficult, sometimes seemingly dangerous contexts. Doesn't matter. In the process of doing it, I've just I've watched and experienced incredible outcomes. Met tremendous people. Now you 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 take a step And in the process of doing that, other things begin to unfold. Other things begin to change. Other things take place. But be aware that the system that's here is there in order to try to continue to keep you in the matrix, in the prison. But the way out, the way out is the way within, You need to continue to take those steps, one step after another, of faith, and that is trust and out of an expression of who you are within. The the seduction attempts are always going to come to try to bring you back in. And I have had some doozies of offers, not to the same level that Jesus had, but pretty darn close in my own life, my own experience. But I would much rather walk out in freedom and be free and fulfill the purpose for which we came here than all the trinkets of the world as a slave. You want to keep your own mind. You want to keep your own thoughts. You want to have your own counsel. It's much better to have a handful of incredible, real, truthful friends. People that will tell you what you need to know and what's true and what's real. That won't bullshit you. You want people like that in your world. Not surrounded by a bunch of yes men that just tell you what you want to hear and reinforce while while you really need to know um, truth. Listen, the truth is always the best way. The pursuit of truth is always a worthwhile journey. So, um, loop up. You know, we want to loop. So we want to loop up and loop out. So we don't want to stay in the prison. The prison itself is collapsing. They're losing control on all sides. But this is where we... You and I, we build the solutions. We are the solutions. So walk in that. Walk in that reality. Um, It's a good time, all right? While the world is scrambling, you are rising. So rise. All right. Love you guys. Uh, Drop us an email, faithmixgmail.com. You can say hi to us there. Um, And share these audios, too, with people that will help. You know, we've... We just want to be a blessing and help you guys as much as we can. All right. Love you. We'll talk to you again sometime soon. Bye.